magnetic fields are by their nature invisible. There are some things that nature does to make them more visible. Uh, for example, in the corona, the magnetic fields control the atmosphere to the extent that you can see loops. We consider that those loops are in fact pictures of the magnetic field that we're seeing. The description that scientists often use is hairy ball. Some of the hair is ingrown <laughs> so that the loop is attached to the sun at both ends. But some of the hair goes waving out, and when stuff gets on that open field line, it can stream out and become the solar wind. How hairy it is depends on where we are in the solar cycle. As active regions begin to emerge from the photosphere, it gets very messy, and so it gets hairier and hairier and messier and messier as the solar cycle progresses. And there's no active region around. The magnetic field can be generated just by the turbulent motion itself. And what you see is that all the magnetic field tends to be crushed and centralized in these intergranular lanes, you know, between the bubbles. So if you're looking at the surface, you see these little dancing dots. And they'll appear, they'll emerge, and then they'll move around, and they'll hit each other, and they'll cancel or be submerged. Things happen on m many different time scales. Photons take hundreds of thousands of years to random walk their way from the core all the way out to where we see them at the photosphere, yet in a millionth of a second you can have a reconnection or something that completely changes the topology of the corona. Any particle that is charged knows what the magnetic field around it is doing, and it has to move in a direction that's at least in part governed by the magnetic field. And if you have a closed loop of magnetic field, particles moving in that magnetic field will move in such a way that they will never leave. They, they orbit the magnetic field lines very quickly and they whiz around back and forth and back and forth. Once they're on those closed magnetic field lines, they stay there as long as nothing else happens. If you were above one given region of Mars's surface, you might see magnetic field lines bursting out straight towards you. And as they get closer to you, they start to curve away and they turn so that they zoom off into the distance and then they bend back and they go diving back down. Uh, but you're not seeing just one of these. You see this happening all around you. Essentially, the Earth is like a bar magnet. The magnetic field lines go from the positive pole to the negative pole, almost like circular. In the Arctic, where um, the magnetic field lines go a long, long way out, away from the Earth, if you go far enough away, they get so weak that the field which is being brought here by the solar wind from the sun actually interacts and almost neutralizes the earth field and therefore the particles which are attached to these fields can come out and bombard the atmosphere and that creates the overall life.